Hello young artists, welcome back. We're gonna be drawing an otter today. So grab your pencils and paper and let's get started. Okay guys, for the first step, we're gonna draw his head and we're just gonna make an oval, kind of a long oval here on the paper. And kind of like an egg, I guess, in a way. So about like that. I think that's a good size. And then we're going to do some whiskers here or some hair on the side. So what we're going to do is from our oval, we're going to do a little jagged shapes like this to make it look like hair. All right. And then this is going to continue. All right. We do the same thing over on this side. We're going to come out with a little bit of a hair about like that. And then we're going to continue this circle like that. All right, I think that is good. Yeah, I like it. All right, so that is step one done. Let's move on to step two. So step two, we're going to put in his ears, his nose, and his mouth. All right, so the ear is going to come out right here where the hair starts. And it's just going to be a little circle, or not a circle, an oval. Half circle, I guess. That's what we call it. A little half circle like that. And then on this side, we're going to do the same thing. So where the hair meets the head, we're going to just come out and do like a little half circle right there. So just kind of make them, see if you can try to make them as even as possible. Or not even, but the same size. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, that's good for that. And now let's do his nose. So we want the nose kind of to be in the center here. And let me see. Let's see how this sketch comes out. Does that look good? Or is it too big? Hmm, I think it's okay actually. So, an oval right here for his nose, about like that. All right, and then we're gonna do these little cheek things here. So, just a curved line that meets right in the center of the nose, and then one on this side too. So just about like that. And then we're going to put his mouth in right here. So it's going to be coming from there to about there. All right. I think that looks good. Let's do a little curve line right here for his tongue. All right. Yeah, and I think that's it. That's step two finished. We got the ears in, the nose, and the mouth, and cheeks. All right. So let's move on to step three. And that's going to be his eyes eyebrows and whiskers okay so we're gonna do the eyes kind of right here where the cheeks end so one right here and another one right here all right and then I'm just gonna kind of look at them to make sure they're the same size so okay I think that's good so there's his two eyes right here. Now let's make some little eyebrows here on the top. Just going up like that. Oops, broke my lid. Pushing too hard. Let's connect that out right there. I'm going to do another one right there. So his eyebrows, and then let's do some whiskers here. So we're going to come out from here. We're going to make one go down right there. We're going to make another one come down right here. And then we're going to make another one come down right there. Okay, so we want to overlap the face a little bit. So either stop short of the outside line or go over it. You don't want it to end up exactly matching that line right there. It just doesn't look good. And on this side, we're going to do one here. We're going to do a long one here. And then we're going to do a short one right here. All right, I like it. So that is step three done. Let's move on to step four. Okay, so step four, we're going to put in his body, hands, and tail. So what we're going to do is we're going to start about here where the hair is coming out of his cheek. And we're going to have an arm coming out here. And then going up like that for a hand. And let's do a finger. They're going to be short, stubby fingers. 
And we'll do another finger here. One here. And then a little one right here. You're going to have four fingers. Okay, and then this is going to be the hand. So we're going to bring it kind of rounded like that. And then we're going to take the other part of the hand. And we're going to have it come down to about... Let's see, uh, I think about right here. So just like that. And then we're going to have the body come down a bit. Just about like that, I guess. Okay, that's good. And then let's do the one on this side right here. So under where the long whisker is, let's have this arm come out here. And let me see where this is going to be. We kind of, kind of sketch this in where I know where it's going to come up at. Okay, because his hand is going to go right here. So we're going to have maybe an elbow right there. Okay, and then a hand right here. Okay, and this hand... I don't know why, but it's only going to show three fingers. Maybe the other one is tucked or behind that you can't see. That looks strange with three fingers. And this one four. Maybe so, huh? Well, how about just let's add in a little hint of one right there. And then we'll have his hand come around. That's better. Okay, so that's that. And then is his arm was coming down right here. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, and then on this hand here, he's going to have like a little pad, kind of like dogs have. So we're just going to come like this. We're going to go around and then come back up like that. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's do his tail now. So his tail is going to come out over here by his arm. And otters have kind of a fatter tail. So if I'm going to round it right there. And then I'm going to have it come down about like that. Let's see. Is that good? Maybe fatter. Let's come out right here. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's better. Okay. All right, so that is step four done. Let's move on to step five, and that's going to be the water that he's in. So we're just going to make an oval, kind of. It's going to start out right over here under his arm. I'm going to have it come out, and I'm going to have it come around. And then we're going to have it come over here by his tail, too. So kind of like that. Yeah, I think that's good. So that's where the water he's in. All right, and then we have some water droplets. Let's have a big one right here. Splashing out, and then we'll have a smaller one here. Yeah, that's good. And then down here, let's put one over here too. Let's do one about right there. Okay, and that is it, guys. That's our sketch done. That's step five done and completes our sketch. So let's move on to the coloring process now. Okay guys, so for the first color, we're going to pick up our brown. That's going to be the major part, I guess. And let's see now, we're going to have to section out some areas here. So what I want you to do is over here where the ear comes in, we're going to draw a curved line down to where his cheek is. So about like that. And we're going to do one on this side too. So from the bottom of the eye, over curved to the right side of the head here. Actually, it's probably going to be up here. Here we go. That's better. So under the ear to about right there. All right. So let me erase this bottom part here. Okay. And the reason I did this is because the upper half of his head is going to be a little different color than the bottom half. And then on the cheek here, we need to do the same thing. So up to the nose. And then up to the nose right there. About like that. Okay? And this upper portion here is going to be brown. 
Okay, and then on the body we need to do the same thing. So we're going to come up here and then just go up to the body. And then here on this side too. Alright, about like that. And then the hands and the arms are going to be this brown color. All of the tail. Don't do the pad part of the palm right here. But all these other fingers, okay, the ears also be brown. Okay, and of course not the eyes and the nose. Alright, so let's get started on that. And this will be the part where I speed the video up. You guys can pause it if you'd like. And push play when you're finished coloring yours. Okay guys, we're back. We've got all the brown parts colored in. Actually, let me get that finger right there. Looks like it wasn't dark enough. Alright. Okay, let next color, let's do the beige color. That's going to be the, probably the next biggest part. Now the parts that we cut out from the brown part, that's going to be beige. So, not the mouth, not the nose, not the eyes, but the tummy here and the bottom of the face. Also the bottom of the cheeks here. That's all going to be beige. Okay, we're back. We got the beige part done. Now let's do maybe the pink. So the pad on his hand is going to be pink. Okay, and of course his mouth here. Alright, and then this upper portion here, we can do that pink too, but let's make it a little darker than the bottom part. Yeah, like that. That's good. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's do the blue part next. So all of the water down here, the drops, is going to be blue. Okay, guys, we're back. We've got the blue part done. Let's finish off with the black. So we're going to do his eyes black, and we're going to make a little white circle right here, and we're going to make a little white circle right there, and then we're going to color around that circle and leave that white. Actually, I wanted to leave like a little white mark on his nose too. I'm just going to erase a little bit. This one doesn't have to be as pronounced as the ones in his eyes. Okay. Okay, so there are the black parts. All right, and for the final step, let's go ahead and start doing the outline. So wherever you have a pencil line, let's do an outline. Uh, you can opt to either do a pencil line around the water drops or not. It's up to you whether you want to or not. Uh, I think... I might just leave it like it is. I don't want a really dark outline around the water drop. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay guys, and that's it. That completes our drawing. I think it turned out really good. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Join us again next week for another one. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the little bell icon to give you a notification of when I upload new videos. But Art for Kids Sunday is every Sunday. So with that, I will see you guys next week. Take care. <music>